because they're not they're intersected and not near us. Yeah, that's right. Like oh. they're they're row fourteen, we're in row five, oh. and then the boys are in one section. Stacy said uh, they'll stick around until about the third inch. They can get them go up to the. Uh, oh, they have the Well, anybody can go up there. She said, uh, "Kid, slip some a, a couple of dollars and we'll get them." Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's time to rise and shine. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning. It's time to rise and shine. That's how that's how wow. we would wake the kids up. But I wouldn't do it that way, would I, Jacob? No. Reporting live from Hawk Watch. <laughs> <laughs> this is Frost. What do we have here? We have um, Odd Watch. <laughs> up in that tree. Yeah, there's some dolphins up there. <laughs> <laughs> up in that tree. Uh, there are three fledgling hawks. The mom or dad keeps flying back and forth, not paying much attention to them. But uh, I think today might be flying day. I wow. think someone might get pushed out of the nest. So who needs a table when you have a driveway? Mm -hmm. Which is oh. <laughs> this is. Alfresco. Alfresco we're, we're having Alfresco breakfast. Yeah. Wow. Petaluma. Petaluma. <laughs> this is what you heard it here live. Yeah, this is the way we eat. The hot's getting pushed out <laughs> the nest really just like the rest of us. <laughs> Today, the dad is going to shove those kids out of the nest on Father's Day. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. After he sings some horrendous song. <laughs> Watching us. Oh, yeah. oh, a crow. Oh, I bet our viewers have never seen a crow before. <laughs> hey. It's like a raven. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Why we sit peanuts and cracker jacks? I don't care if I ever get back for this room. White meat. Here we are at the beautiful Coliseum in Oakland. Uh, enjoy the Yankee game here today. First time I've been here. That closed out all five stadiums in California for me. Still one short. One short down here. Oh, next summer. Next summer. <laughs> next summer. Um, so we had a great game, game and Rain Craig was going to uh, give us a game recap. There is so much to recap this game that I'm going to have to use a cheat sheet today. But let's say the, the first two innings, uh, the Oakland scored uh, by two home runs, so two three-run home runs, one at the bottom of the first, one at the bottom of the second, and after that it gets a little dicey. Uh, the Oakland scores again in the fourth, the Yankees finally get on the board in the sixth with a double from Mark Teixeira after Jeter had doubled originally to get on base. Uh, Jeter went one for two, by the way, today in his last game in the Coliseum, and I'm getting a close-up right now. Uh, the, uh, the Yankees would find themselves again on the board with Carlos Beltran's homer to right, which he should have been on the Royals, but can't win them all. Uh, Derek Jeter is going to sack right, sacrifice fly to right uh, for Suzuki to score, and then Brett Gardner is going to homer in the ninth to put the game at five to ten, and that was the final score. Uh, the Yankees about a day late and a dollar short on this one. There you go. You didn't even have to go to the game. You just get the recap. It's better, so. really, that way, because you don't have to sit out in the sun. You have to get sunscreen on you. I mean, I guess finally you just say that this right. game is... Come on, yeah, close through. it out. That one's toasted. Jacob, tell us what happened here. Oh. Uh, cheese was too good, I guess. Did you get a little Did you get a little overzealous with the toasting? Uh, I think there's a little too much trust put on my shoulders by Guy. Did you put some cinnamon on that, Rain? <laughs> That's about to be cinnamon toast. Crunch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you look like you're sober. Ooh, nice. 
Ooh. Petaluma wine mixer. <laughs> <laughs> we began with a Russian Hill 2004, and now we've moved on to the Russian Hill 2005. It's a yeah. Syrah. Yeah. And so, it's uh, from the Russian River Valley. Is, oh, that, is that a Sonoma wine? Yeah, good stuff in Sonoma. Good County. stuff. So we'll find this wine. In so the we're world. trying a vertical tasting okay. from one year to the next, right? Okay. And uh, we had the first one, and you thought the yeah. first one was. A little was, more. I use the word like it had a sharper taste to it. I'm not sure about my wine adjectives, but this one seems to have. Chris, you were talking about taste. the legs, right? Yeah, the legs on this one. Yeah, how do the yeah. legs look on that? Hold it up to the light. See I mean, if the you can see any legs on there. Yeah, there's some good legs on there. Yeah. So we yeah. learned tonight that that's about alcohol content. Yeah, and so wow. that was pretty good. And the taste, I think, is a little fruitier. Fruitier. Yeah, a little bit less dry. Not as, not as dry. So yeah. that's how you taste vertical tasting, man. And wow. Now you guys are wine experts. And to, to vertical taste testing. <laughs> At the Petaluma Wine Mixer. Petaluma Wine Mixer. <laughs> mixer. <laughs> so we have a 2010 Sebastiani Malbec. Mm -hmm. And Sebastiani plug. is That's famous in the oh, Sonoma God. County, specifically Alexander right. Valley, since 1904 for their famous wine making. Ooh, game what a wine now. He's a wine. <laughs> man. And uh, Malbec's your favorite? Yeah, Malbec's my favorite. Yeah. Guy here is yeah. sharing his wonderful yeah. collection with us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I met the wine ma the winemaker August Sebastiani. Is the guy that started this. But anyway, Malbec, really good boy. Yeah. So let's taste it. To yeah. August. Let's see what we think. Uh, August. Pedal in a wine mixer. Pedal in a wine mixer. And, and, wine mixer. and, and we'll, the wine mixer. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey, Jake. Yeah, come on, Jake. Just wanted to thank Yeah, thanks, Guy and Jeannie. Yeah, thanks, Guy. There they are. Oh, man. They get a shout out. Hey, to good adventures and good wine. Good adventures and good wine. <laughs>